Woods. <sighs> oh, beautiful corn, dude. But, whoa, he's charged up. <laughs> <laughs> back to back cover items, that's so sick. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is our second day here in North Carolina. Funny enough, I actually dropped Alex off at a Starbucks. He's doing a job interview, and I am hiking through Habitat right now. We're in these beautiful piney woodlands, and uh, we're hoping to see snakes basking today. It's like 9 a.m., and it's already 70 degrees, which is super exciting. I'd love to see some late season snakes, so we're gonna give it a shot, hike around some stump holes, maybe peek under a little bit of bark without damaging habitat, and we're gonna see what we can find. All right, well, I picked up Alex from his job interview. How'd it go, Alex? <laughs> I think I should get the job. He thinks he should get the job. Well, I was busy at work, and uh, I picked Alex up, and we were flipping some tin, and I uncovered this nice adult corn snake. It's in shed, unfortunately, and uh, it's likely just trying to shed some skin in the winter, and uh, get a healthier coat going because um, this is not an unhealthy snake by any means but you can tell that it's got a little bit of a, uh, a lesion-y scenario on some of the scales like as you can see right there um, which is common in snakes that you're seeing late in the year or very early in the year so um, he should be fine we're just gonna get a little bit of video footage of him take a couple phone pictures and then we're gonna sanitize our hands um, so we don't spread any kind of diseases or anything like that, but pretty awesome. Excited to get the first snake of the day, and uh, we're hoping that we get to see some Lampropeltis, cool stuff like that, but... One last snake for 2022. It'd be a good looking corn if it weren't in shed, but we'll take it. All right, sweet. Gonna let it get back to its business here. Um, kept the encounter nice and brief and hopefully it'll just keep doing its thing here. What do you got? Oh, he's not hitting the holes yet. Uh, Atlantic Coast Slimy Salamander. Oh, he wants to. He's fast. Oh, oh. Here we go. These guys are common but Atlantic Coast Slimy Salamander. One noticeable difference from the slimies that we have up north is that these guys have fewer white spots and it seems like they're kind of like more on the side whereas the the back is pretty lackluster but kind of cool to see a darker colored slimy i think these guys are really common in habitat here but i don't know i really i really appreciate them to be honest look at how sticky that is. yeah he's <laughs> sliming the heck out of my hand see that stuff that's uh becomes very sticky, that's a defensive behavior that they have, so. Oh, well, look at his tail getting all white and slimy too. We're gonna leave him to it under this board and uh, just gently put that back down. We're gonna keep looking around. Hmm, that's a little too wet. Oh, beautiful corn, dude. Yeah, wow. That's pretty. Another corn! Wow, nice. Oh, that's so sweet. That's really bright. Yeah, let's give him, ooh, nice. I mean, he's maybe a little skinny, but whoa, he's charged up. Ooh. Hey. This is the nicest corn I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, like, I might want to take a picture of it. If you don't okay, mind. Yeah, I'll flip the other 10 while you. I'll go grab my camera and let's do that. He's do you cranky. Want to take a picture of this one or no? Nah, that's okay. Yeah. Man, this guy is a lot prettier than the other corn. I'm super excited to be seeing snakes just because up north it is definitely the end of the year. But we got a nice little extension here. Any little vacation is appreciated. And I love corn snakes. They're pretty awesome. Oh, I just flipped a slimy. Oh, really? <laughs> What? Where is he? another one? Corn and slimy. Oh, that's a kind of big one. Uh-huh. Look at that feller. Cool. I'm gonna put his log back down in a second here, but priority goes to the corn snake because we're a little biased. I won't take too long. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, he's a little skinny for sure, but Yeah. Hey, that's what he he's making up for. You yeah, know, he honestly skinniness. feels kinda like he has a meal in him. 
Oh. Which I wouldn't be like, why wouldn't they eat now if it's just not been that cold lately? All right, we're gonna let this cranky corn go. It's gonna go back to basking or thermoregulating, I guess. And we will see you later. Cool, let's see what else is under cover. It's a skink. Yeah, I'll flip this one. Nothing? See some hustle, come on. Live, live shrew reaction. <laughs> All right, check it out. I'll move this out of the way. Do this. <laughs> Look how little he is. Come back. That's so cute. Where's he, where's he? Oh, oh I got him. <laughs> All right, we're just briefly restraining this guy because oh my God, it's so cute, dude. Look at that little thing. Oh. There he goes. Let's take a picture of it. It's burrowing down in there. Look at him. So shrews, at least short-tailed shrews, which I believe this is, they have a really, really high metabolism, and uh, they're just constantly eating things. Anything they can fit in their mouth that's their size. They'll wrestle like little snakes and stuff like that. It's quite nuts, but um, not a snake. <laughs> snake food. Turn the camera around for that because it's serious. <laughs> but. Um, we're gonna keep hiking around. We've got maybe another two hours of daylight or so, and we might transition to amphibians and more aquatic stuff soon, but we're having fun out here, which that's what matters. All right, Alex dug through some of this bark on the ground here, and he found this little, I wanna say Pinewoods tree frog. He's all covered in sand because he was uh, just hanging out on, basically on the ground. Pretty neat, let me get a little bit of a better look of it. All right, I just lost the tree frog, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep looking around. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. We were just hiking around and uh, we flipped a little dinky piece of cover and it had this beautiful mole king under it. Uh, some in this area can be extremely vibrant. This one is kind of orangey with nice red blotches and uh, a kind of golden background color, so it's a it's a nice snake for sure. But uh, man, we're just happy to see any lampropeltis. Look at the belly too. Oh my gosh! Damn, the light is just not doing them a justice. It's a gorgeous snake. That's so dope. Um, wow. We're gonna take some pictures of this guy. I'll get you guys a couple more close-ups because it's just a beautiful, beautiful snake. Lots of oranges on it and stuff like that. And then we're gonna keep hiking around. Got a little sun, which should better show off this snake and its colors. It's kind of going in and out of sun and clouds, but man, that's just so exciting seen mole kings before in uh, different locations, but this is my first from, from here. Okay, okay, so the next piece <laughs> of cover we flipped. We haven't even photoed this one yet. We just saw another nice looking uh, board and we just flipped an eastern king. It's in <laughs> shed, but who? how can you complain? Like, what the heck, dude? That's awesome. He's pooping all over me, but ah! <laughs> <laughs> Back to back cover items, that's so sick. Beautiful eastern king going into, we're coming out of a shed cycle. Oh my God, dude, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Obviously we're letting both these snakes go. Um, we just want to take some pictures of them, so <laughs> we're excited. Ah, oops, holy smokes. That is just so awesome. Excuse my nails that are just battered to crap and filled with dirt, which is very common for me. 
promise they're not like this though when I'm not looking for snakes. If anyone was wondering. <laughs> anyway, beyond stoked to see this little mole king. We're gonna put it right back where it was. We're gonna take a couple pictures of the king snake, eastern king snake I should say, and then we're gonna let that go too. All right, see you later, buddy. That's just awesome. That's awesome. All right, letting this king snake go. Awesome. Double Lampropeltis, two species of king. What a find. All right, well that is just awesome. We are super excited to be seeing snakes right now and uh, definitely makes the long drive worth it for us. Good times. Um, we've got a little bit of daylight left. We're gonna see what else we can eke out. Um, even if it's salamanders, should be a good time. So let's see what we can do. Should I just talk like this? <laughs> All right, one thing that's a serious disadvantage at this time of year is uh, it gets dark very early. So our day is kind of cut short, but we're whacking through the woods to a couple more flip spots and we're gonna see what else we can find. Awesome. We night flipped a snake, look at that. You gonna pick him up or no? No. Little worm snake, he's a little, we a little lad. There's also a skink sleeping next to him, but we're just gonna gently put this back down on him. <laughs> I was hoping that you would hold it and I would take the pictures in your hands. No. There's his lesions. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll Stupid put them back. <laughs> okay, I'll put them back now. You just put it between my legs so I step on it. Nope. Well, Darkness has definitely made it hard to find the tin that I'm looking for. Oh, this is awful to walk through, too. Ouch. Oh, oh got thorned. All right, we'll see. It's all right. Oh, that's a big one too. That's a big one. That's very. Wow, pretty. that's pretty. Were you huh. crazy? No, no, sir. No, sir. Wow. Welcome to North Carolina, bro. Well, it's hot. Look how he's waving that tail. You ain't no rattlesnake boy. That's cool, dude. Yeah, yeah man, our moccasins down that way. Uh -huh. They always got this black tint. Yeah, they're a lot darker down yep. down that way. Yeah, that's, not that's that's what's kind of nice about this area. That's cool, that's dude. Big paw print. You wouldn't look this way. Yeah, yeah God, just something cool. That's cool. Oh, did you tell him that I have no. a YouTube channel? Or? I, I, I assume. And yeah. Here, <laughs> and then here I am hollering like a, like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, let's see what he does when he's touched. Doesn't look like much. I mean. How stiff he is, bro. Man. <laughs> Man, I've never had a moccasin strike at me. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're usually pretty tame. Now they try to steal your, your fish off your, st you know, stringer. <laughs> but <laughs> almost the right direction. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he's just gonna keep going straight down the road. Guys, actually, maybe if we go like this. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Now he's on his way. That's so cool. All right, guys. Well, that was actually really funny. We uh, we ran into a game officer, and uh, we were just chatting with him, and he turns out that he really likes to find snakes, too. Um, so we're talking to him. We depart, and then he comes ripping up to us and tells us that his friend, another game warden, found a snake in the road. Takes us to it. Huge cotton mouth. Super awesome. Really, really pretty one. Um, but... Anyway, long day. I don't know why snakes are crossing the road this late in the year, but we decided to stick around till after dark, give it a quick shot. But we're gonna get some food now, so uh, yeah, if we see anything else, I'll let you know. All right, guys, we are back at our Airbnb. Um, obviously, we didn't see any other snakes. Uh, that's gonna wrap this video up. We had a fantastic day, super exciting. Can't ask for anything more this late in the season, so. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.